if you are new to this channel, I'm Essie Mama. I want to thank you for clicking on this channel. Um, but I first off want to just start off by thanking everyone for over 100 subscribers. Yay, I'm so very excited for that. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. Very highly anticipated um, parenting controversial tag. I don't really know what to call it. But if you hear some noise in the background, that's just my son playing around. Um, but there's some very for, there are 14 important topics that I really want to get on today, so let's just go ahead and dive right into them. But before this video starts, I would really appreciate if you guys just take the time and subscribe below. I would really really love it. It makes me feel amazing when I get new family members. So please go ahead and take the time to subscribe and like this video before the video starts. Uh, pro choice. Um, obviously, this one is probably the most anticipated question but I'm pro-life um I know there are special special situations out there but I've just always been the one to think that there's way there's plenty options for you um even if you didn't want to have the child near you every day you know what I mean I'm just pro-life so that's what that one is um baby wearing I don't see why this one is really a topic but I guess people think that you're spoiling your child by baby wearing. I baby wore Grayson up until he was six months even to get things done around the house so I'm definitely for baby wearing. Circumcisions um I personally will not say if Grayson got circumcised or he did not but I am I don't really know if I want to give my answer on that, really. <laughs> because that's a little bit personal, and I don't want him to look at this video later and be like, Mom, did you seriously tell people that that did or did not happen? But I'm pretty much on the borderline with that one. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Um, is it adoption? Yeah, it's adoption. Um, I believe if you are in a type of situation, just like I said, with one, this kind of ties into uh, pro-life or pro-choice. If you don't necessarily want the child, that's just one of the many options there are. I am all for adoption, but I'm not for adoption if you just don't want, if you just don't want the responsibility and you're fully capable of taking care of your child. That's just my opinion. Um, five is baby piercings. Um, personally, I'm not for piercings with boys unless it's spiritual or religious reason. But for girls, I absolutely love it. You could say your opinion about that, but I'm just not for piercings with little boys. Um, breast milk versus formula milk. I'm definitely for breastfeeding. Um, Grayson was breastfed up until, I mean, every day consistently up until six months. Um, it just got a tad bit difficult with going back to work and everything, so I did supplement with formula, but I'm definitely for breastfeeding as long as you possibly can. Um, cried out method. That's... That one right there. I'm not for it. In more blame terms, I'm not for it. Um, I don't think that you're spoiling your baby. I don't think that you're doing something wrong. I don't think that you're stunting their growth in any way. Okay, so spanking. Um, I'm not for spanking until I'm guessing a certain age. Um, I don't think they really truthfully understand it until around three or four, to be honest. I mean, I think they're they're new when they're up and they're exploring the world. So I'm really not for it. I know. Spanking, I'm not really for it. Um, truth be told, I grew up being spanked. Um, only when they, only when the time was fit. But truth be told, I'm not really for spanking. I'm always about um a different method. Um, but that's really be making his cameo in this video. Of course he is. <laughs> He's trying to grab my equipment. But um, co-sleeping, I definitely have no problem with it. Um. But I do think after a certain age, you do have to put them in their own space just so they can get a sense of independence, but definitely not too early with that one. Um, home, public, private, or charter school. Um, I grew up with really all types of school. I went to a charter school, I went to a private school, I went to a public school, and I got homeschooled. So I guess I say I have the best of both worlds. Well, of all the worlds, really. <laughs> but I 
13, cloth versus disposable. I'm for both, honestly. Um, and lastly, number 14, home homemade or store-bought. I'm honestly for both as long as you check um, the ingredients, make sure you do your research, but that is...